Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, September 22nd, 2016. Our word for discussion today is dreariness. Ezekiel 34:12. As a shepherd cares for his herd in the day when he is among his scattered sheep, so I will care for my sheep and will deliver them from all the places to which they have scattered on a cloudy and gloomy day. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 2 Thessalonians 3, 16, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, in every way. The Lord is with you all. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. 1 Peter 5, 6, and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, unto the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. This word defined as feeling or displaying or reflecting listlessness or discouragement having nothing likely to provide for comfort or interest, gloomy or dismal. God will answer all of our needs, even during dreariness. Rejoice in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ in you. God gives us peace and is always with us, even in our dreariness. Don't be anxious, but pray with supplication and thanksgiving, for the peace of God surpasses understanding, so guard your hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. At the proper time, God will exalt you and cast your anxieties on Him, because He cares for all of us. I want to thank you today. Have a blessed day.